Hello friends, uh, this is Telpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Jevi. In this video, we are going to continue with our ASP.NET Core Web API series and this is a part 3 video in this particular series. In this video, we are going to check how we can get uh, the student by ID and then we can also see how we can add the student with our Web API or Rast APIs. Uh, with the validation but before moving to that uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel code with JV, then please do subscribe to my channel uh, this is the URL for my channel I have minimized it for your convenience so let's get started so I have opened the same project uh, which we have op uh, created in the previous video and if you remember like in the previous video you have created uh, the swagger part so let's see where we were so here you can see like we have uh, swagger and we are going to execute this part so we are getting right now two students so let's get started with the get by id method so what for that uh, we need to write some code and we are going to have student here and we are going to have a method called get by id and i am going to have id there now this is the get method so we are going to write http get and uh, like we already got one get method so it will give us some error so we need to also write the route like get by id and then I am going to put curly braces like this. So like this curly braces tells um, the, the route that like we need a id here. Now uh, let's uh, first make sure that like we are uh, going to have a id. So if id is less than or equal to 0 then we are going to say not found and then d must be higher than 0 right if everything is good uh, then we are going to get the student let me write this phase for will be more clear to you guys and then I am going to have students student path or default uh, as uh, so I am going to write some lambda method there equal equal to id so now we need to check like this particular student is equal to null or not uh, if null then we need to write that student not found and else uh, we are going to return that particular student so basically what I have done in this method is like I, have, I am passing the particular ID of a student and if id is not there uh, then i am printing some validation message then i am getting my student with the entity framework uh, first or default method and if student is null then we are going to check like with, uh, whether student is there in database or not uh, then it will return validation message like student not found and if everything is good uh, then it will return like student is found so let's first check the database uh, sorry not the database the compiler and it's look good so now let's refresh our swagger part so let's see now so here you can see like it is showing me the id like uh, this this is the new api which we get and let's try it out so first i'm going to write zero and execute it so here you can see like uh, it is giving me the error for 0 for not found 
because like the student id is zero now let me try the another way we have remember we have only two student with id one and two so i am going to execute with the third so here you can see like it is also telling me that uh, student is not found now if i write one then it should work so here you can see like all the data is getting there so uh, i think uh, our get by id method is good now we need to write our method to create the student so for that uh, first we need to do some validations and we are going to do validations with these annotations so this is the simple annotations which i am going to use in this particular one so let's make sure that like we have first and last name is required so what it will do is like it will like have this system dot component dot data annotations so it will tell like that uh, to particular api that our our uh, in the student model like we want must supply first name and last name now it's time to write some method code uh, so we are going to write a async method because we need it to be async and we are going to write action result here and we are going to have post student student and here we are going to have http post because this is a post method and uh, this task belongs to this system dot threading dot task so now first we need to check that the student is null or not if not uh, then we are going to say not found student is not supplied student data is not supplied let's write something like that yeah and here we need to do one more thing we need to write this from belly we are going to have it from the body itself now if student is not null then what we are going to do is we are going to write code for adding student so we are going to write student and as casing and student and then we are going to write student context dot save changes and we are having to have a speed method and then in the end we are going to pass student again so this is the simple method of adding student but uh, now we need to check about the model state so we we are going to write model state dot is valid if it is valid if it is not valid then we are going to say paid request and we are going to pass the model state so this will tell the particular way uh, um, particular model is valid or not and if model is valid then uh, like it will go compare the other so uh, like perform the other source code otherwise it will return the saying that it is a bad request so here now we are going to again refresh our swagger api and here you can see like now we got the post method here so let's try it out and what we are going to do is we are not going to pass anything here let's say i am not passing the first name 
last name I am going to pass and I am going to execute it so here you can see like the first name field is a requirement field so we haven't passed the first name field so now let's pass the first name field and let's write the first name is Charmin yeah we need to pass this character see like it is being added in the database now if you fetch all the student here it should also contain the Charmin so here you can see like Charmin is there so that's it guys uh, this is the like very simple method of adding data and getting data by id in next video we are going to see how we can update the existing student and how we can delete the existing student thank you for watching and last lot but not the least uh, if you still haven't, uh, haven't subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe to that it gives me more motivation to create uh, this kind of videos and like it help uh, please do uh, hit the like button if you like this video and if you haven't liked then please like uh, click on the dislike button and please also put the reason why you haven't liked this video so i can improve in the future video thank you for watching see you in the next video